Fridays with Chef Sheila. Today, I'm making my most favorite Filipino dessert, leche flan. So now, I'm going to start with my caramelized sugar. But there are three important elements that you have to remember about caramelizing. First, you have to use heavy and light colored pan. Second, once the sugar dissolves in water, do not stir it anymore. And last, remove the pan from the heat once you reach the color that you desire for your caramel sauce. Now I'm just heating my pan. I'm going to put my one cup of sugar and 30 ml of water. And I'm just gonna stir it until the sugar dissolves in the water. Once you've stirred it, make sure there's no sugar on the sides of the pan. And if you see that there's some sugar in it, you brush it on the side. This will prevent from crystallization. You just brush it very carefully. Okay. Now, we're just going to let it boil. And I'm not going to stir it anymore. I'm just waiting for it to start number now my caramel is almost ready. I'm just gonna swirl it a little bit to even out the color. Mm. It has a nutty aroma that is tempting to taste, but you cannot touch it and taste it because it is too hot. Now I'm ready to pour it in my Pyrex. going to start with my custard mixture. Now I'm going to start with my custard mixture. I have my 10 egg yolks here. I have my 740 ml of evaporated milk. Just gonna pour it in. And my condensed milk. Just gonna scrape it to finish everything. One fourth cup of sugar. So I'm just gonna whisk it very carefully and slowly to incorporate everything. This custard mixture is not too sweet because I already have my caramel sauce here. I don't want to overpower the sweetness of the caramel sauce. Now my ingredients are fully combined, I'm going to add one more unique flavor, lemon zest. And trust me, this makes a big difference to my leche flan. I'm just gonna grate it. About one lemon. Now my custard mixture is ready. I'm going to pour this in my Pyrex. Just pour everything. There you go. Now before I bake it, I'm going to put it in my baking tray. I'm going to do the steaming method. In that way, I'm not going to pour in my caramel. I'm just going to get my water. I'm just going to pour it like one inch deep. Not too much. This is enough. And then I'm going to put over my Pyrex. Now this is ready to bake in the oven for 40 to 15 minutes in 180 degrees Celsius. to remove your Pyrex right away to stop it from cooking. Okay, just gonna put it there. Now I'm going to slice a piece for myself to have a taste. Just gonna cut 
cut it carefully. And I'm using a small spatula to pick it up and support it with a little bit. See the color, the caramel sauce. There you go. And I'm gonna add some more caramel sauce on top. It's so creamy and light. It is fresh and has lemon. See you again next Friday for a new recipe.